Ah, we are talking about consciousness and coupling, and the topic for this specific video is create spaciousness and freedom. This is one of the core things, the core qualities that might be very challenging to navigate. Why? Because when you are in a relationship, when you are in a couple, you tend to establish control patterns on each other. It means that you have transparency, you have honesty, and you have also the feeling that you have the right to tell that person what to do or influence them in their choices. So those controlling patterns, they tend to become really strong. And uh, that's one of the ways that you bond with a partner. You know, whether you realize it or not, these controlling patterns are very present in the field. There are demands, there is pressure. So it creates a field of energy where there is a certain container that is created uh, through uh, creating safety and through having a common and uh, conscious agreements about how to relate. So when you transition out, what's happening is very clear is that those controlling patterns, probably 95% of them, maybe some of them might, might stay. If you have children together, if you still have a business together, there might still be some leftovers of that, but most of it is gone. And so what is going to happen is that you need to consciously embrace this transition. You need to consciously embrace the expansion and look at your partner. And when you look at them, you just open your arms around them rather than contracting, rather than blocking. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, this can, can work also with friends, right? For instance, if you have friends who are trying to be very controlling with you, what are, go what are you going to do? You're going to contract and eventually move away from those friendships because they are limiting your freedom and limiting your space and limiting your expansion. And so when it comes to conscious transitioning, if you want to stay in good terms with your ex, and if you want them to welcome you into their lives, what you need to do is to be able to be spacious, open space and freedom. It means that if you see them with somebody else, you don't freak out. You go like, Okay, you might be reactive. There might be a reaction to it. There might be sadness or there might be anger or frustration or there might be like, wow, that really hurts. You know, you might cry around it. But if you impose your will, if you get aggressive with your partner over their new relationship, what is going to happen is that it's going to force them to put walls. You know, uh, they might block you on Facebook. They might do shit that you don't like. They might exclude you from their social network. They might cut you off from your children. You know, they might do all sorts of things that might be really hurtful. So the conscious idea, the conscious codes of relating when you transition, when you are uncoupling is that the control patterns, 95% of them are gone. You are no longer allowed according to the divine will, according to the fact that this person that is in front of you has the right for self-determination and they do what they want with their lives. You are no longer allowed to tell them what to do. You're no longer allowed to put them under pressure, to have demands on them. You know, that's the idea. Then if they want to give you some space to do that, you know, to allow you to have demands, for instance, again, if you have children together, or if you still have a business together, that uh, needs to be taken care of. So yes, there are certain control patterns that stay there. There are certain demands, a little bit of pressure that might still be there. But in most cases, you as a witness of the expansion of your lover or your ex into their new life, having expansion and being able to whew, release control is going to create an amazing feeling in your system, which is like, you look at them straight in the eyes and you go like, you are free to do what you want. Your life and your choices are no longer any of my business. I love you. You have my blessing. Go for it. So in the process of doing that, it's, it's, it might feel like a big step. You know, it might feel like challenging, but I can tell you that the expansion that is going to open to happen in your heart when you do that is going to be massive. Something is being released and the trust and the flow and the bliss and, um, uh, are going to come into your system and open new space that allows your partner, your ex, to feel safe in your presence. If you are an obstruction to their evolution, you know, they meet somebody with who they are supposed to be having this beautiful love affair and connection, and you oppose that, then that's going to kick you out of their lives. They are going to defend their territory. And so it's either you play with the flow, you play with the game, you play with what's going on, or you are out. And if you project 
control patterns, demands, pressure, anger, frustration, aggressive energy, then they probably will need to put walls and boundaries around them, or you are going to, you know, sabotage and, um, you know, bring lots of, lots of toxicity to, the, to their lives. So the choice is yours, you know. Again, this is just to bring awareness. I'm not telling you to do what you have to do. I'm just telling you, here's what's, what's going to happen if you make the choice of freedom and expansion. It's great. It works really, really well. Okay.